I got to tell you, it's a very sweaty shoe. Yeah, I can imagine. Drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it. You still want to go ahead? Okay, put that on. Go. No, your hands, your hands. That's right now. Welcome to the show. I usually know everything about my guests before they come out on the stage. But today, my producers have decided to keep me totally in the dark. <laughs> my first guest is a complete surprise. I have no idea who's going to walk out here, and I've gotten no clues from my producers. So, at this time, will the mystery guests please come out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you so much. What are you doing here? Hi, boo. You know I missed you. So, you all know who this is, right? Yes. 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 This yes. is Phyllis. And Phil yes. Yes. I love you. I miss you so much. Oh, your wife. She's doing awesome. Sit down. Oh, I just so, love this what, man. Why... Well, I mean, it's great to see you, but they didn't tell me you were coming, and I had no clue you, I seriously had no clue you were here. Why are you here? I'm here to give my husband a last chance for romance. Oh. For him to prove his love for his wife, or divorce city, here I come. It's a wrap. Seriously? Yeah. Well, I, let's take a look at your last appearance here on the show. I'm a thrill seeker. I like exciting, spontaneous things. My husband is none of that. He's boring as hell. We've been separated off and on for quite some time now. We don't sleep in the same bedroom. Ain't no touching involved. Ain't none of that. Be honest and tell the truth. You did not answer the phone for 30 days. You did not respond to a text. Why would I talk to somebody I'm not, I'm not? So you were mad for 30 days? No, I'm still mad. I'm still mad now. Tell you who this Quentin is and what do you think is going on? That's her ex-boyfriend. She got conversation for him, but it's always a frown or a problem when she see me. Do you have feelings? I'm always love him to the day I die. Okay. But I'm not in love with him. That's a difference. If we was getting down, I wouldn't lie about it. I say, hell yeah, and ain't nothing you can do about it. We ask you, Phyllis, have you ever had sex with Quentin during your marriage to Lamont? You said no. <laughs> and the lie detector determined he was telling the truth. We ask you, Lamont, during the 30 days you left Phyllis, did you have sex with someone else? You said no. Lie detector determined, however, that was a lie. What? She can have you. See you when you see your feet. So, Lamont failed his lie detector questions. Did you kick him out? He's still in the basement. But why is he still in the house if he... Because he don't want to leave. He's determined that he loves his wife, and he constantly telling me, don't nobody love you better than I do. So, if that's the case, I've given him the chance to prove that. So, so here's the thing, you don't even sleep in the same bed. No, he's not even permitted to come in my bedroom without my permission. Is it true that you're now back on dating sites and, and looking well, for... Well, I'll just put it to you like this. Uh, yes, I went on a dating site to prove to him that I was serious. I was dressed up like a police officer. You know, I told you I got that thing for a police officer. Yes, yes. So I got the picture, I got all the proof with me. I was dressed up like a police officer. I put that up. Within three days, I had 300 men wanting to meet me, 75 flirts, five favorites, and 254 reviews. <laughs> so that let him know, well, you say you the only one loves me. No, it's other people out here that want a chance to meet this. Did, did you tell him? This beautiful woman. So you're really ready to divorce him, right? Yeah. All right, Lamont, come on out. I want to hear what you're going to say. Welcome back. How are you? So, obviously... <laughs> wow. So, Phyllis here says she wants to divorce you. This is last chance for romance. Right. 
So, so what do you say to that? You failed the lie detector test before. Well, that's a different issue, uh, Robert. But as far as her saying that I'm always out, I'm almost out the door, whatever. If that was the case, I would have been gone a long time ago. You know, don't go, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. I am told, Lamar, we have don't have no kids together and all that. If you really truly love somebody, regardless of whether you stay together or not, you want that person to be happy, whether y'all together or not. I have gave him the opportunity to leave me. As I said, 17 years is a long time. I mean, it's it's like it's a difference between us and night and day. You know, I'm spontaneous. I like fun things. I like outgoing stuff. I mean, I just like alluring, sexy, passionate, just right then and there, you know, stuff like that. Lamont, he's totally different for me. Like, you know, the last time I was here, when you asked me about me writing things, I write all type of fantasy. Matter of fact, Robert, I got a fantasy that would be perfect for you and your wife. Oh! With Queen and I'm going to tell you why. No, wait a minute. So, well, let, let me get in on that. <clears throat> how come you never proposed that to me? Since you were so spontaneous and everything, how come I never heard about that? Yeah, it's you playing whole, games again? It's a whole lot of things that you know about. The whole thing is you ain't doing none of them. If you was doing some of them, I wouldn't have had to come to you and ask you, what is the most uh, uh, romantic thing I had to ask him, Robert, that he did for his first wife? Oh, he told me one time he fixed candlelight dinner, had rose petals leading from the front door all the way to the back door, candles, all kind of stuff. And I'm like, really? I've been in the picture all this damn time, and I ain't seen none of that you know what? So why, why you wanna win? Why you wanna be her back? You're your first wife, and you both want me so bad. Why the hell I ain't seen none of this? That's a great question, right? So why are you not the doing? The reason why is because she got an attitude problem. And I'm not going through that. <laughs> who, who, what? I, what, what I look like giving her all this nice stuff, and she's frowning up and complaining about everything or whatever. I, I don't, I don't feel that I have to subject myself to some that don't nobody. Well, she don't appreciate the efforts that I do make. You know. So, so what? what so, effort, make some efforts. So that's, but that's a great question. <laughs> I want to win her back, right? Yeah, but, but what, are what are you doing? What are you doing to win her back? Right. I, I cook her breakfast in bed. I, whatever she want to eat, I cook it immediately. I clean the house. I sweep them up. That, that we go right there. That's me. That's not her. That's me. You know. So I'm a good man, and I okay. do what I'm supposed to do. You know why you doing that? Because I'm a neat freak. Anybody that's in my house, you're gonna have to be clean like me, or you can't live up under the roof where I'm. Well, well, I'm the same way, so I don't have no problem doing that. So, do you like all that, like, uh, pampering? I mean, of course. Or do you like the bad guy? Both. So where do you like the pampering, and where do you like the bad guy? Well, I ain't gonna really say the bad guy, but a lot well, of I mean, you know, probably the... know what I'm talking about, where you want that, that bad guy in the bedroom situation. Not that bad guy with the attitude he got right here. Right. You okay. understand what I'm saying? That other type of bad guy. So do you tell him that you well, want him? I'm the type of woman sometimes I might want to be spanked if I'm a bad girl. Yeah. I wonder why I don't know nothing about that. You don't know nothing about none of that, Robert? No. no. Why do you think I'm officiated on the police officer thing? I already got the outfit. I brought it with me. I'm going to be dressed up like a female police officer when you walk in the door. You know, I'm, I'm there to try to cater, cater to her and anything she want or whatever. But there she go with that attitude or whatever. So she's a queen, I give her that. But I'm the king, and I deserve respect and love, too. OK. So. Are you looking at porn sites? I mean, I might look at a couple of chicks on the website or whatever, but that's it. You know, I'm not looking to find anybody because I got everything I want right here. You know, but if I can't get her, I might as well look somewhere else until she comes to her senses. Do you know much about Phyllis? I know more about her than anybody else I know that know her. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. When we come back, we're going to get the results of your lie detector test. And I'm going to play a little game with you. And it's called, How Well Do You Know Phyllis? <laughs> Let's see if you really do know as much about your wife as you think you do. Because a lot of married couples don't. So, here we go. And this one's, Lamont, I want you to answer this question first. What is Phyllis's favorite color? <laughs> Phyllis, is that correct? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. That's one. What's Phyllis's favorite drink cocktail? 
Hennessy. Is that correct? No. What? What is it then? What is it? What is it? Strawberry daiquiri. That's a long time ago. Though. So nine years, nine years, and you don't know what she drinks. She changes her mind every day. That's what he likes. But I'm a big drinker. I'm a big drinker. Oh, okay. Here we go. So what is Phyllis's idea of a romantic night in the bedroom? Tell me what it is. A scary movie. A scary movie. That's a really romantic wrong. night. That's Hell a no. <laughs> A head-to-toe body massage. Yeah. yeah. Lamont, what is Phyllis's favorite food? Steak. You better get this right. Steak. Steak. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Robin, see, this what this what they all I'm talking about. Hell no. What is Popeye? Popeye chicken. You know I love chicken. You don't love my KFC. You don't love my steak? Is that what you're saying? Well, you know why he said steak? Because that's only one of the things that he good at cooking. That's why he think I like steak. So, I like chicken. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is the last question. Don't let him get this right. If you get this wrong, um, well, you don't even need to lie to the test. Because she's going to kick you out. If uh, You got an extra bedroom? <laughs> If Phyllis could spend one night with a celebrity, <laughs> who would it be? Robert Irvine. Yes. Yes, baby, yes. Call me. Oh. <laughs> You still gonna put me out now? All right. Here's, here's the funny part. Lamont, you're sitting there, and I'm her celebrity, like, hall pass. Right? That's what you call it, hall pass, right? Something like that? <laughs> I'm making love to you right now. But, you, but your husband's sitting there right there. Yeah. She don't care. She don't care. Bring me my lie detector podium here. Oh, yeah, we're really fancy on this show. So put that down. Lamont, stand on this side. Come on this side. Look, wow. So here's how this is going to work. I'm going to ask the question. If it comes up green, you got it correct or you were telling the truth. If it comes up red, he was telling a lie. Okay. Okay. Are you nervous yet? Nope. Remember this. Green is telling the truth. Red is he's not telling the truth. We asked Lamont, are you still in love with Phyllis? Lamont said yes. yes. Lie detector, however, said he was telling the truth. I believe it. Okay. We asked them on, since you've been separated from Phyllis, have you had sexual contact, oral sex, or sexual intercourse with anyone other than Phyllis that she doesn't know about? Wow. Don't start now, Robert. <laughs> Lamont said no. Lady said they determined. It was telling the truth. But I'll say, sorry, this stage up. We asked Lamont, do you want to stay married to Phyllis? Lamont said yes. However, lie detector determined. There's going to be some smoke in the city. Hey. I was messing. I was messing. The lie detector. I told him I'm going to turn the stage up. Lie detector oh. determined he was actually telling the truth. And it was a 
you say, Mary? Uh, do you believe me now? Yes. Well, he say that all the time, Robert. I ain't going nowhere. Hang on, I hang on. My move, wife. move, move, move. But he, he always end up, it always go back to his attitude and my attitude. That's where the problem come in. Stop. Yeah. All right, come here. Here's the thing, here's the thing. If, 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 his, his, if, stand here. If you don't want to be with him, step away so I can see you a little. If you don't want to be with him, then cut him free now. Boom, gone, see ya, don't want to do ya. If you do, then you have to work a little bit harder than he does because you've already got this shield up. You're doing this. Well, he's, he's not talking, he doesn't do this, he doesn't. That's a negative connotation straight off the bat. If you want to change, you can change. But you've got to want to change to be able to change. Yeah. So what, what is he going to be? Are you, he's already in. Mm. Tick tock, tick tock. Maybe I need to just... Right on. Give him a hug. You know you want to. Give him a hug. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Over to the love each other. I need to check. Time to just eat that. We've been 17. We really like we thought we did. So we still have to work on. But yeah, and it's a lead. I can have Harry still. Welcome back, my viewers from all over. Write to me on a daily basis asking me where do my guests actually come from and why would they come on TV to share their business? I believe people will do anything to be on TV. My audience here watches a show, but do any of you guys want to be on the show? Okay, let's just see how far they would go to be on TV. It's time to play a little game that I call Robert Irvine's How Far Would You Go For Money? So, to make 50 bucks, there is a challenge. The challenge is simple. Crystal, come up here. Crystal is my producer. Yes. So, here is the first challenge. I just want you to drink a glass of water. For 50 bucks. Yeah. Sounds easy, right? So how, many, so how many people want to drink a glass of water for 50 bucks? Put your hands up. Put your hands up. All right. But there's a catch. You have to drink the water for 50 bucks from Crystal Shoe. So, the guy, the guy, yes, the guy in the purple shirt, come up here. What is your, what is your name? Oh, I go by Toby. Toby. Yes, Toby. All right, hold that. You can hold that. So why, why would you like to drink out of Crystal's shoe a glass of water? You said 50 bucks. That's it. 50 bucks. <laughs> That's it. Uh, Hope you take a shower. I it's, it's, I gotta tell you, it's a very sweaty shoe. Yeah, I can imagine. Let me take the little. Uh... <laughs> oh, <laughs> See me that way, Bill? There you go. Uh, 20 bucks? <laughs> oh, I'm getting my money's worth out of this. 50, 50, yeah. All right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Three, two, one. Go drink it. Don't spill it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Hang on. Let's see what we left. You know what? I'm going to tell you. You are one brave man. Chris, where's your shoe back? 20, 40, yeah, yeah. 50 bucks. Is that a big hand? All right, next 
What's up? I love when they give money away. I need a couple, a man and a woman. Come over here. So what are your names? I'm Zach. And? Kaylee. So here's what I'm going to ask you to do. You're going to go behind the screens. I'm going to give you 60 seconds to completely swap clothing. Oh. Female to male, male to female. Okay. And for that, for that, I'm going to give you 25 bucks each. Yes? Yes. Go behind. So, guys, you can hear me, right? Yes. Yeah. So the key is you have to throw your clothes over to each other. Across here, right? Just outerwear, right? So, without shoes. Yes, just outerwear, not your underwear. <laughs> here we go. I'm going to say three, two, and when I get to one, you can start. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I got, I got to tell you, yes. the red is definitely your color. I feel, I feel beautiful. They earned it. Congratulations. Grab your clothes. <laughs> All right. So it, it gets more and more interesting. So if I said 100 bucks. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's take, let's take you. Yeah. You, yep, yep. Come up here. What is your name? My name is Mike. Mike? So, Mike, here's the challenge. It's a white Spanish onion. Okay. Right? If you finish it all, there is a nice, crisp... You hear that? Yeah. It's a nice, crisp $100 bill with your name on it. <laughs> but I have to ask you... Do you have a date tonight? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Thank God. All right. Well, let's give it First bite. Go for it. Just think about an apple. I'll even give you water. That's how nice I am. There's, there's no time. You got all the time in the world. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put you to the side. You continue eating. And I'm going to continue with the game, or we'll fight you, catch you in a second. All right. All right. So uh, Mike is over there eating the onion. We'll keep an eye on him. The fourth challenge. All my hairy men in the audience, raise your hands. Oh, who wants to make 50 bucks? What's your name? Gordon, come up here. I have... We have to welcome, we have to welcome uh, Gordon first, but also our wax expert, Tiara, to the stage. Tiara, come on out here. So, he's all yours. Yay. Okay, you ready? I guess so. <laughs> can go ahead so that would now. take, like, removing your shirt or something, right? Mm -hmm. I assume so. Well, I don't know. She's Woo! the expert. Take, take it off. Oh! <laughs> 
I'm so white and fat. So white and pasty. Good. All right. Okay, lay down. Lay on the bed. And I just want to hear all the moans and pains. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is gonna hurt. It's for a good call. So we're gonna do we're gonna do one strip at a time. You get three strips, and I think a great X across his chest will be really good. So can I rip it? Yeah. I have always wanted I have always wanted to rip something. I'm glad I can make your dreams come true. Well, you are. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Okay. Right are you sure he can rip it? Mm -hmm. That's hot. Wow. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You're not going to feel this one little bit. That's hot. Wow. Oh, yeah. You're not going to feel this one little bit. It already hurts. See, okay. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to let you pull that. You want to pull it up? Just pull it up like pull that? Pull it back. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Three, 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 two, one. Go! Oh! It was a lot worse than I thought it would be. Are you okay? Yeah. Look okay. at that. Great. Oh, that's like nice. Animal Kingdom. <laughs> Give you one more. So, so listen, listen. You've only got thirty bucks right now. I'll let you do this because you're you're going to be faster okay. than me. So this is a unique thing because normally don't you put like something on top of the wax? This yeah, is but actually his hair is a little coarser, so I'm going to use a hard wax today. Oh wow. Oh great. <laughs> that way we can get all the hair. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to hold that so you can scream into sure. it? Sure. Yeah. I just I don't want, I don't want you to have pain, but but it is interesting yeah, to watch this process. Mm -hmm. So audience, here we go. So we're, we're, when you're ready, you tell me. We'll go. Okay. So here we're gonna go. We're gonna go five, four, three, two, one. When we get to one, you can pull. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Audience, five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh. Wow! One more. Oh. You okay? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just. This is a good one. It's a long. We're going out with a bang. Oh, here we go again. Here we go again. We're gonna go to five, four, three, two, one. So here we are, 50, 70, 90, 100 bucks for you. Thank you, thank you. And your top. Thank you, that's important. Look at that, nice and red and only a little piece. Gordon. I felt I felt sorry for you. We did say 50, but I give you 100 there to make it Thank nice. You. Yeah, I wasn't gonna correct you. Like, All right. So how is our onion guy doing over here? It's pretty difficult eating that onion, right? Yeah, it's it's definitely a challenge. So, so I'll tell you what. Why are your eyes watering? <laughs> <laughs> I think my nose. And your is breath is a little heavy, by the way. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll revise my deal with you. You take one more bite. You won't have to finish, I'll give you the hundred. Yeah. That's cool, right? Yeah. I'm feeling generous. Hundred bucks for one person if I make a smoothie, the one person downs a smoothie for a hundred bucks. Yeah. You. What is your name? My name is Brittany. All right. I'll make the smoothie. <laughs> Ew, do you like tuna? Do you like tuna fish? You don't have any I allergies? Like to oh. No, no allergies, right? No, I don't have any. Allergies. Okay, some tuna fish. Let's make it really worthwhile. So this is unseasoned tuna fish. Some more beets. Oh, yeah. Yum. Avocado? I actually like avocado. You like avocados? <laughs> yes. Oh, you're going to love this. 
You like hot sauce? Yes. Oh, yeah. And everybody's favorite? Ketchup. Little ketchup. A little water, just make it nice and slurpy. I am known for making culinary delights. It's actually pretty. You so ready to go through this, right? Yeah! <laughs> Are you gonna share it with me? I'm not making a hundred bucks. I make you a deal. <laughs> Do I have to drink the whole thing? So The bouquet on this is really good. So here's what you got to do. If you want to do half, then I'll give you 50 bucks. Okay. <laughs> if you want to do all, then I'll give you 100. So what do you want to do before we start? It's all or nothing. All or nothing. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to go five, four, three, two, one. Finish it first. Ah. <laughs> Hundred bucks. So I'm a chef, right? So by so by default, I'm a foodie. By a show of hands, how many foodies are in my audience? I will pay a hundred dollars for somebody to finish. These wonderful creatures. What are they, you ask yourself? Yeah, what, is, what, is it? what is it? They are crickets. So we have some guacamole, some chips, and crickets. For a hundred bucks, you have to eat all the crickets. I don't care about the guacamole and chips. Come here. Come here. So what is your name? Orin. Orin? O-R-I-N, yes. Orin, okay. Yes. So have you ever eaten... Crickets before? I've never eaten any bugs in my life. They're like um, crunchy, delightful things. <laughs> okay. They do get stuck in your throat. So I've given you some guacamole, some chips. But just so you know, folks, crickets are a great source of protein. They're really good dipped in chocolate. So, so why, don't we, why don't we do this? Do you like guacamole? I love You love guacamole. So let's just do this. Oh, God. Right? Oh. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> look at that. Oh, look at oh them tasty God. little morsels. Oh All right. Look at that. Mmm. Yeah. Right? So, for 100 bucks, you have to finish that. Can you do it? Or do you want to give it away? I'll do it, I'll do it. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. There is no time frame, you just have to complete it.
Chips are good too. Chips in it. Get it in your mouth. Oh, oh they were, they moving? No, they're dead. They're not moving. They're dead. What? Well, what's the face for? Bug. <laughs> they're really good. Just think of guacamole, the richness, the creaminess, the texture, it's velvety. No, you don't finish it. All them you're going to eat. It's 100 bucks. Done? Eat the chip, you're done. Take that. 100 bucks for you. Thanks, nice to see you. <laughs> the finale. I need the bravest audience member. You. I hope you're brave. Do you want to take your jacket off? Because it might get dirty. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. What is, your what is your name? Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> All right. I'm afraid. Okay, <laughs> you should be. So here's the, here's the challenge, right? We have $250 rolled up inside this little container. Whatever you pull out is what you take home. Okay. <laughs> and you have to dig into... You ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. This. So, you still want to go ahead? Okay, put that on. Can't see, right? Yeah. I'm going to move you over here one second. Stay still, stay there. Put me 60 seconds on the clock, please. Don't start until I'm ready. I'm going to move you forward. Here are the edges of the container. Hang on, wait. Go. No, your hands, your hands. They're rolled up, they're rolled up, feel them. Put it out. The rolled up one, the rolled up ones are bigger notes. Quick, pull it out, pull them out. You gotta put. Wait, you feel it? Pull it out. There you go. Come on, let's go. Pull them out. Pull it out. You got 20 seconds. You got. Take your head, take your photo. <laughs> All right. Hang on. Let's count. So that's a, a 10, a 10. Five. A five. A 10. 40 bucks. 40 bucks. So I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. You've been such a good sport. Here. All right. You're very brave to do that. I think that's all the money. If there's any more, I'll find you. But here, 250 bucks. Just goes to show that anybody will do anything, A, to make money, and B, to be on TV. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Requires trust, but it's a two-way street. 
Friendship and loyalty are not a given. They must be earned each and every day. Value your relationships the way you would like to be valued, and I promise you, you will get much more in return. I want to hear from you, so go to our website, robertirvineshow.com, or visit us on the Robert Irvine Show social media pages. Thanks for my guests joining us today here, and thanks for you for watching at home. We'll see you next time. Woo!